Paint a fairly bleak picture. Uh, what's, what's expected to take place in the next couple of days? Well, should we start at the airports? Because um, excitement here at Liverpool John Lennon Airport, where Jet 2 is launching its first flights from the Merseyside Airport. I've been talking to some of the other airports around the UK, Bristol, Newcastle and Edinburgh all say this is going to be a record Easter weekend for them. More people heading abroad than ever before. A total of around 2 million British people will be going off in search of some uh, uh, sunshine or indeed some skiing or city breaks over the next four days. And actually, you're going to get a lot of pressure, particularly at business airports like Heathrow today, because um, you've got business travellers who will be doing their usual uh, uh, flights together with people who are making a, as early a getaway as possible. What's happening this Easter is that it's such an early Easter with Easter Sunday on the 31st of March that actually a lot of schools are breaking up today and that's putting extra pressure on what would anyway be a busy Easter. And is it a, a strike-free Easter, Simon? Uh, yeah, we're not expecting um, strikes at home or abroad this weekend. Um, as left, the train drivers union have uh, planned a, a, a series of rolling strikes from a week tomorrow. That's going to be disrupting things uh, from the 5th to the 8th of April. On that, the 8th of April, there's also going to be a strike on the London Underground to try to make sure that uh, people um, can't travel to, from or within the capital. But apart from that, um, the main problem, if you are, on the railways is going to be engineering works and in particular the west coast mainline that travels from here in liverpool and manchester and the west midlands to uh, london euston well the last 50 or so miles from milton Keynes to london euston is going to be closed that means no uh, trains on avanti west coast london northwestern railway instead you're going to get bus replacement services a lot of people traveling on east midlands railways from london to pancreas and uh, uh, well, wherever you're going, hope for the best and be prepared for disruption. 493 separate projects are going on by network rail. Um, there's also going to be particular problems going across the Pennines, around the Huddersfield area, and there's work in Glasgow. Not forgetting the Easter, indeed any bank holiday. If you're in East Anglia, then you're pretty used to bus replacement services somewhere along the journey from um, Norwich, uh, Ipswich and Colchester into London, Liverpool Street. And of course, as it's a bank holiday weekend, there's a storm approaching as well, just to add a, a little bit of unpredictability to the mix. Uh, sure, yes. Actually, on the roads, it's going to be really pretty tough today, um, especially actually the the M25, the western half um, around, well, Heathrow, but going all the way around uh, the clock face from the M1 round to the M23 for Gatwick. That's predicted to be particularly busy between three and seven today. You're going to get people on getaway journeys at the same time as the uh, normal commuter traffic. Tomorrow, the picture actually shifts on the roads to uh, uh, looking at key destinations such as Bristol South to Taunton on the M5. Also the M3 from uh, uh, the kind of outer London area down to the Southampton and the South Coast. So it's going to be very busy. The RAC is predicting, they quote, Carmageddon with over 14 million extra journeys being made over the next four days. If you want to avoid the worst of the traffic, then get up very early. Um, alternatively, start your journey late in the day. Yeah. Unfortunately, human behaviour is that everyone thinks, oh, we've had breakfast, cup of tea, uh, let's all set off and guess what? It all, all grinds to a halt. Just one mention about uh, the port of Dover. Uh, this time last year, we were reporting on really long queues, particularly for people who were on coaches, um, sometimes waiting up to 18 hours to get through French passport controller, um, which has got a lot tighter since Brexit. Uh, Port of Dover has put in all sorts of um, precautions, so hopefully people will have a relatively smooth journey across to Calais and Dunkirk. Simon, a pleasure as ever. Thank you so much. Thank you.